Good morning. Uh, coming in here with a really quick one just for the group. Um, Jeanette asked a really good question, which I thought deserved a hopefully really good answer, um, rather than just a throwaway comment. Um, so what we were wondering was um, how one chakra being off balance might affect the others, and if it does. Um, so I'm going to delve into that, you know, why one being off balance um, will offset the others, and it affects your whole um, body and sends your whole being out of balance. So um, for this example, we're going to think really quickly about all the different areas and aspects of your life right now. Um, for the purpose of this, we'll choose a really common one, which is out of balance for um, quite a few people, which is your finances. So when your finances are off, you know, um, it can affect your extracurricular activities. Um, your diet can suffer as a result because you can't um, always get hold of that really good, healthy food, um, which is going to nourish your body really well. Um, and that can sometimes even go as far as to affect your own happiness um, and the way that you feel in yourself every day. Um, now, it's the same from the chakras, okay? So all of that stems from you know, your finances being a little offset at this time, okay? So they're out of balance. And um, one area directly affecting another area in your life. So it is the same for the chakras. Because um, they're all connected, energy flows and communicates through all of them, almost like an energetic circulatory system of information. Um, so for the block in one, it can't pass information to another, which will then offset that one, which can't um, pass information to the next. And it's like a hot chain reaction. Um, and before you know it, there's problems, there's blockages um, within all of these chakras. Now, it's really important as well to remember that these chakras govern all of the different aspects um, and areas of your life. So these are the control houses of the real world going on in your life. So all of your emotions, your intuition, your will, um, your ability to make um, decisions, pull yourself um, out and throw yourself into changes, um, all of the connection to yourself and to others, it's all directly affected um, by these chakras. These are what control these areas. So all of what makes you, you, all the different aspects which influence what your life looks like. So if one is way out, they're all going to be affected by this. That's why it's so important to understand what each of these chakras does um, and how to be able to tell right away if one of them is out of balance, um, and more importantly, how you can fix that. Um, now, I hope that's gone some of the way to, to try and explain um, the purpose of having them all balance. You know, I do teach um, about balance in the chakras, but I think it's also very important to understand what happens when they are out of balance and how that affects you, how that affects them. Um, so I hope that's gone a little bit of the way to do that. Now, if anyone did have any other questions um, surrounding specific topics, the chakras in general, um, put a comment in the videos, or if you don't feel like sharing um, openly with the group at this time, um, just send me a personal message, um, and I'll try and try and answer that the best I can for you guys. Um, so that's hopefully um, solved that one. Um, on Thursday, I'm going to be doing a live <coughs> excuse me, over on the page, all about the sacral chakra. Um, which is the one that governs your consciousness for will, um, your emotions, and your sensuality. Now, keeping in mind what we've just gone through, when, when all of them are aligned and when they're shattered balance, it's actually referred to as the fire in your belly, um, which I think is very um, explanatory of the power behind this one. This one will literally move you um, to make amazing changes in your life. Um, so we'll cover that one in real depth on Thursday. Uh, and in the meantime, I hope you guys are having the best week um, and enjoying some of the nice weather as well if you're on this side over in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, it's been very, very hot at the moment. Um, so, yeah, you guys have a great week and I will speak to you all on Thursday. Bye.